To all those who did not support us, let me say this. Hear me out as we move forward. Take a measure of me and my heart. If you still disagree, so be it. That's democracy. That's America. The right to dissent peaceably within the guardrails of our republic. Ye humne duniya ko dikhaya ki yahan jo prajatantra vyavastha sabse behtarin hai, sabse badhiya hai, uski jeet hui hai. America ye hai karke humne duniya ko dikhaya. I will be a president for all Americans. All Americans. मैं आज प्रमेरिका का सारे लोगों के अध्यक्ष हूं, सिर्फ एक पार्टी का अध्यक्ष नहीं, सारे लोगों के अध्यक्ष हूं, पूरी अमेरिका की रक्षा करने के लिए मैं आया हूं, सबकी अमेरिका का तरक्की के लिए मैं आया हूं। सेंट अगस्टिन, the saint of my church, wrote that a people was a multitude defined by the common objects of their love, defined by the common objects of their love. What are the common objects we as Americans love that define us as Americans? I think we know. Opportunity. America ke kanun vyavastha ka mukhya uddesh kya hai? Respect, honor, and yes, desh ki raksha, desh ki swatantrata, desh ki sauhardata banaye rakhna hai. Aapas mein miljul ke banaye rakhne ka America ka kanun kehta hai. Lies told for power and for profit. And each of us has a duty and a responsibility as citizens, as Americans, and especially as leaders, leaders who have pledged to honor our Constitution and protect our nation, to defend the truth and defeat the lies. Look, I understand that many of my fellow Americans view the future with fear and trepidation. I understand they worry about their jobs. I understand. So Joe Biden राष्ट्रपति पद की शपथ लेने के बाद पहला भाषण जो बाइडेन का और उस पर सीधे सीधे तौर पर नस्लवाद और कोरोना से लड़ाई की छाप दिखाई पड़ती है उन्होंने कहा यह लोकतंत्र की जीत का दिन है। रेड अगेंस्ट ब्लू रूरल वर्सेस अर्लन रूरल वर्सेस अर्बन कंसर्वेटिव वर्सेस लिबरल वी कैन डू दिस इफ वी ओपन आवर सोल्स इंस्टेड ऑफ हार्डनिंग आवर हार्ट्स इफ we show a little tolerance and humility and if we're willing to stand in the other person's shoes as my mom would say just for a moment stand in their shoes because here's the thing about life there's no accounting for what fate will deal you some days when you need a hand there are other days when we're called to lend a hand. That's how it has to be. That's what we do for one another. And if we are this way, our country will be stronger, more prosperous, more ready for the future. And we can still disagree. My fellow Americans, in the work ahead of us, we're going to need each other. We need all our strength to, to persevere through this dark winter. We're entering what may be the toughest and deadliest period of the virus. We must set aside politics and finally face this pandemic as one nation. One nation. And I promise you this, as the Bible says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. We will get through this together, together. Look, folks. All my colleagues I serve with in the House and the Senate up here, we all understand the world is watching, watching all of us today. So here's my message to those beyond our borders. America has been tested, and we've come out stronger for it. We will repair our alliances. 
and engage with the world once again. Not to meet yesterday's challenges, but today's and tomorrow's challenges. And we'll lead not merely by the example of our power, but by the power of our example.